Marvel. Marvel, 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 Marvel. <laughs> Marvel. Oh, Marvel. <laughs> wow. Yeah, y'all did that. Y'all did that, Marvel. Oh, yes. I, if this video doesn't get any views, I don't care. I just, this just means a lot to me. And I will be making a trip to Africa, mark my words. Either this year or beginning of next year, I will be going and I want to go see it. I want to go explore. And I want to get to know my culture even closer. Hey, y'all. What the f is tea, bitches? Yes, we are back up in this gig and it is three o'clock in the morning and I just left the movie theaters from seeing Black Panther with one of my, um, with some close friends, Ricky, Denzel, of course, Kenneth, and Marvel, yeah. We just got back from seeing this movie, Black Panther, and this is my initial reaction. I could cry. I could cry because even though it's a, it's a superhero movie and it's supposed to be, you know, action packed and shit like that, you know? But the underlying meaning of the movie was too much. This is gonna contain spoilers, so honey, you should not be watching. If you have not seen the movie, please go buy your tickets. Go take your family, your, gra your grandmother, your great-grandmother, uh, if it's, you know, if God be willing, go take them to go see this movie. They will enjoy it, trust me. This movie, starting from the beginning, talking about Africa and how beautiful Africa is and the, the secrets that Africa hold. But when you get down to the meat of it, this movie was what we needed. Marvel, thank you for taking the chance, being brave as a company, Disney, Marvel, whoever, for putting this movie out and making it predominantly black and a black cast and a black director and showing our history the right way. Now, yes, this movie was definitely exaggerated, but was it? Was it really? When Michael B. Jordan first seen was in London, looking at those artifacts, and he told that white woman, and she said, this came from such and such. And he said, no, this came from Wakanda. And she said, pardon me, I would know, you know, I would know where this came from. He said, would you? It was stolen. The way you stole it from my people. I'm gonna take it back right now. The underlying in that, the fact that they're in London, the fact that they were in London, and if you don't know, <laughs> white folk, that's where you at, that's, where you, that's your homeland, that's you. You got, our, you got our African artifacts in that museum of yours. How you stole it from us. The fact that they reference that in this movie, but then it gets, it gets, it gets deeper, it gets deeper than that. The fact that it shows how rich, how rich black people really are in culture, but how we came here first. The fact that Marvel took the chance on really putting it in the face of white people, whoever else don't agree with this and said, either you watch it or you leave this theater. We don't care, but we're gonna tell this here story. The reason why this means so much to me because Marvel could have took the approach that Viacom, come on, oh, let's really go there. That Viacom and other companies in the past have took. Why well, I said Viacom, BET, VH1, you know, they try to put black history in the forefront, but girl, you put a poor, piss poor ass budget behind it because it's black folks, right? And you give BET the most lackluster budget they could ever have. 
Viacom. Come on, girl. I live for y'all, Viacom. I do. And I would love to work with you guys. However, a lot of these companies, when they make black movies, when they, black, when they make movies about us, it's very lackluster. Unless it's Tyler Perry or Oprah. It's very lackluster. We either playing a slave or barbershop or something, just something that, girl, that make white people feel good. They feel all right. Well, I'm not saying every slave movie have, you know, just demeaned us or anything like that. I'm just saying it felt good to see a movie that we are power, that we are the power. That's what Black Panther did for me. And the fact that Marvel did their history about African history, everything from the soundtrack, from the drums, from the cinematography, from the special effects, the fact that you put, ooh, come on, director, come on. The fact that you put purple hues, purple hues of light in the background, pinks, yellow, greens, in the background on our color to show, to show how rich and pigmented that our skin is. The fact that this movie showed the queen honoring thine son, the father that died, the ancestries of black people. The fact that it said how Africa is really more rich than any other country, continent on this earth because they're holding secrets that we don't know and you'll be a fool if you don't believe it. If you don't believe it, you're gotta be a fool. America wish they could have as much as Africa does. Damn it, I wish we did, honestly, truly. As a black man in America that is gay, it felt good to see something like this. And I went to an HBCU, shout out, shout out to Central State University, and I graduated. I graduated, I graduated from an HBCU. I was, I learned my culture firsthand. And the fact that I had the chance, the ability to see and feel and learn about these actual African artifacts that are at my school that were featured in this movie was beautiful that I could relate. And then you show, Marvel, you show. You show the, the, how rich we really are in people. And if you really want to be real, I live for how they have Caucasians in the movie because you want to talk about caucasoids and how they came, how their skeletons are only 200,000 years old opposed to us being 2 million years old. But we won't go there too deeply. The fact that the, the guy, the CIA agent, was like their slave. The roles reversed in the movie. It went from black people being a role that just come in and out, or maybe the sidekick of the white person, or you know, you maybe got maybe one or two black people in here. But for a change, the white folk were a minority in this movie. It was weird seeing them on the screen. Feel funny, don't it, white people? No shade, literally. <laughs> it's funny seeing how we have always been the minority. We've always been, oh, there's a black folk in here. Oh, they just died quickly. But then you turn into the minority. Where it's predominantly black excellence up in this movie, Angela Bassett. Michael B. Jordan playing the role of a African-American black male coming to Africa and telling them how much we fucked up over here. And what y'all need to do, y'all need to spread y'all knowledge, y'all both to help us out. And I live, if you really want to be cut, how they kept saying how they have Waganda spies all planted out through America. That means how we have our native people all up in here, up in America. Come on, get into the meaning of this story. I won't tell you all of the movie, but I will tell you this. It's one of the greatest movies I've seen in all time. And I want to thank you, Marvel, and I want to thank the director, I want to thank all the cast for educating. Girl, <laughs> we won't sit up here and cry like this, but I will, because I can. Because I, I saw this movie in LA. I'm in Los Angeles. And if I would have saw this movie in Detroit, I would have loved it, my hometown. But the movie theater was predominantly white. And you bet your bottom dollar I set my black ass in there and was loud as hell. Real loud. 
when something sickening happened with all that goddamn blackness on that screen. You better be sure and seeing those white folk live silently. Get into my culture, get into what I'm from. That felt good to see. It did, it felt real good. Cause I'm getting, I, was, I, I, I know where you come from. I know what you can give white folk. I live for it. Congratulations, but God damn it, here we are. Here we are, breaking records. I only see all the memes of different black people going to go see this movie. $25 million in a night, and it's not even the open day yet. This is the opening day. The, the, the video that you're seeing right now is now the opening day of Black Panther, and we already made 20, we, they already made $25 million. Marvel. <laughs> Thank you. The scene before Michael Jordan completely died, and he said, and you know, Black Panther was trying to help him and said, you know, I could heal you, we could heal you, we, you know, you don't have to die. And he said, so you can lock me up? He said, dump me in the seas where my ancestors died. I'd rather be dead with them than be in bondage. At least they were smart. They were smart. Ancestors were smart. They knew to be dead than be in bondage. Coming from an African-American woke male that fought in the military and all that stuff, like they really pinpointed their history, even down to the African culture, from the colors of the faces, of the stripes on the faces of the actors. They did it right. I walked in this movie thinking it's gonna be very watered down, very overproduced, very just forced. No. Not at all. I am so happy I'm so happy. This, this, this movie just made me happy. I will be going to so see it again. Yes, I will. And, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, girl. Girl, I'm not going to say the whole movie. But basically, the bottom line about this is just how we need to stick together as black people and how we need to stop fighting each other so all the messages about that in there. How we keep lying to each other about our culture. That's in there too. And how America kept lying to us about our culture. That's in there too. I love you guys. Tired ass army for watching as always. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you're just passing by, I don't, I don't know. But catch you guys on the next one, Tired Ass Army. I love you guys for watching as always. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> go, please go see Black Panther.